Yeah. Fish okay. Tell us a little bit about Mad Labs. No well, Mad Lab Industries is uh, a UAV manufacturer located in Chicago. Uh, we, we primarily have focused in the past on commercial large scale operations that uh, usually assisting or alleviating workloads with people. Um, we discovered one thing this summer that uh, we have all the tools and assets in our facility doing large scale projects that we can potentially make uh, mini racers and uh, we kind of put some of our uh, skill sets into the uh, the racing industry and cool. came out with our uh, Mini 250. Well, let's talk about the Mini 250 sure. real quick if that's alright. So uh, it's 250 millimeter from uh, diagonally measure between each of the, uh, the spindles for the motors, correct? Correct. And uh, it's got a camera on the front there. Uh, anything specific about this that makes it unique and unusual? Well, yeah, we kind of, we took a little bit of our uh, engineering background and we did a four layer circuit board oh that starts it off that's kind of our our entry into it we took our ee and we went ahead and made a four layer circuit board it carries everything from power video radio and even video on board so the rat's nest of wiring is a thing of the past it's basically we hope yeah we yeah. hope it's gone the wires are cool, notice there's but hardly any wires it's got basically the wires coming from the motors and of course we got a strap here yeah. and, and one wire for the battery right so yeah we took so, that innovation into it uh, one of the cool things is we have a bunch of really cool machines we have vertical mills lays routers yeah. lasers we got all these toys. So, so you manufacture these in America? Yeah, American they're made, made right? in Chicago. Oh, actually, I love it. Uh, our right. board's even made right down the street. All American made. Seriously. Um, so we went ahead. It's hard that. to find that today, and if you're racing, a lot of stuff comes from China. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? so, so you know, quality control is kind of our thing. You know, we deal with a lot of big drones. So we said, let's take this mentality, these monster it's drones, technology that you've honed, and yeah, and right. bring it into this. One of the cool things we did that is actually in its release stages. First, these are 10 degree tilt on the arms. Yeah, so you automatically you're shins right there, yeah. You're, you're slowly cool? flying forward. Yep. Our second really cool factor we added and it's coming out, we can convert this frame into a V-tail. V-tail. So huh? now there's a block that goes in here and it'll tilt the arms up and give you yaw superiority in flight. So you'll be able to whip the sucker around like you're in a drift car. Like that. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. so like slide around those corners It'll be really cool when it's available. That's incredible. Um, Otherwise, you know, the concept's a concept. It's a four-rotor, multi-rotor device, counter-rotating motors. Yep. Um, built for racing. Built for racing. Crazy Close proximity. Thrust, you yeah, know. Yeah. Um, so, I, so, so, would this be good for a beginner or an advanced or about all? It, we really kind of looked at it and said we need to fit all markets. Okay. Um, we have a Grasshopper V3 product, which is really like an educational platform, schools, Boy Scouts, they really love it. Yeah. So we went ahead and took that mentality and made this where a beginner can actually fly this yeah. right. uh, on a three cell battery. And it's designed, we picked a certain screw. Uh, it's American screws. We, yep. we picked a certain screw that'll actually snap when you impact. Oh wow! So it will tumble, it will roll, it'll yep. barrel roll through the field. You'll break okay. the propeller. But when yep. you really catch like a fire hydrant, yeah, yeah. or something like that, <laughs> it actually hard, just right? pops yeah. the screw off. Okay. And good. so you can actually sometimes just bend it back right. and keep flying. Oh wow! If you're really risky. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, you pop in a new screw and, and you're off flying again. That's so we cool. really took the whole crash it. Build it, build it, fly, fly it, mentality. Right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 we took that and built it back into this. And so, you know, really, uh, we ask you to crash it. We challenge it. It's got a nice HDPE bumper built like uh, bumpers in uh, cars yeah, yeah. or even skids on uh, semis. Perfect. So we kind of looked at it. How do we make it kind of more durable so for the beginner? Yeah, yeah. Well engineered. It's durable. Easy yeah. to repair. Uh, get all the parts in America. So that's not bad yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah. And then for the pro racers, like you mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, this is 6S capable. Oh, so great. you can scream. I think we got one up to almost 100 miles an hour. What? One day. Yeah. Are you kidding? It was that's absolutely. Incredible. I couldn't I believe it. Our pilot. And just woo, I'm like, all right, it's over yeah, with. It's you know, like, yeah, yeah. where the parking lot are we picking this thing all bad? Exactly. But, um, you know, so yeah. crazy fast, super stable, ready to fly. Yeah. Can we talk about this one over here? Or is that yeah. super top secret? This is super top secret. So, the 250 is designed for the classes, right? The racing classes. Right. It, it's inevitable. There's going to be a 250 class, a 110. You know, it's like that. So, this is kind of, we're in the middle of testing. It's a, it's a 210 class uh, multi-rotor uses the same motors as this guy does. It's about, it's about the size of a sparrow. Look at that. You know, like a bird, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's super, awesome. 
super agile. We're trying to take the same concepts that we have over here and yep. bring it into here. You'll notice the spacers already. Perfect. So this is in flat flight mode just gotcha. for testing an R&D. Right, right. But we'll be able to pitch it and do all the same stuff we have, even Chips. bumpers gotcha. and everything like that. So we're taking the same concept we do in all of our products, our real big drones, all the way down, 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 down. Gotcha. We're going to see how small we can get. I got you. Right? Right, man. All right. Yeah, technology's moving forward. Yeah. You know, things are getting smaller, lighter, exactly. power to weight ratios there. Yeah, oh, this good. thing is just, it, it's not even, I love it. it. It's terrifying when it takes off. Is it it's really? so bad. <laughs> it's just, you're like, uh oh. But goggles, if you're, goggles, need my goggles. I know, yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> but if you're an FPV racer, this is excellent. This is it. This is yeah, these are, going, these are the two, you know, things. Yep. Super fast, stable, precise, yep. insane. So oh, this, this is this is kind of where we somewhat started. Okay. Um, it's a grasshopper. We call it our grasshopper V3. It's its third iteration. Okay. Um, it's it's hard to explain how much R and D went into this frame. Yeah, yeah. We originally started off with just sheets of plastic. Sure. We laser cut it all. We were shipping it to Europe. We got customers in Europe. They're like, oh, Don, you know, shipping is unbelievable. Yeah. They ship us apart. How can we make this thing a little bit more shippable? Right, right. So then we made it, you know, kind of bolt modular, together, right? modular, modular yeah, yeah. kind of concept. And then one day we were all sitting around the table and we said, how do we make this thing crash resilient? Yeah, right. And repeatable, repairable. So what we did is we went ahead, it's all ABS like your car bumper. Uh, every car is made of this, most of them and it can take an impact real well. Yeah. It's designed to bend and flex. Okay. What we really went forward and did is it's a completely suspended system. So this plate up here isn't bolted in to anything. Oh, okay. The arms are actually holding it in with a whole tab and key system. Gotcha. And all that's held together with nylon screws. So we're looking at a 20 cent repair yeah. when, you, when you hit the ground and, and the arm is designed to pop off gotcha. when you hit real hard and just break your screws off. Good. So you really, I mean, we, so we've been at a filming event and crashed these. We were doing a film. We crashed it on a roof. We're like, oh no, what are we gonna do? Guy goes up on the roof, brings it down. I didn't even have parts. It oh, didn't yeah. break anything. We just put one more screw in there no, you didn't and finished the perfect. shot. That's so good. it's it's an educational platform to get people started. Well, let's talk about the educational aspect yeah. of it. Uh, so what I hear is this is a good open frame, uh, stem based kind of focus. Yeah. Uh, uh, airframe to yeah. work from and uh, tell us about the microcontroller that you got here. Yeah. So we're using the RDU Pilot open source platform. Okay. It allows you to do missions and surveys and all these cool things like uh, we just had uh, the Shed Aquarium last year and this year again out of Chicago. They have a bunch of schools doing a competition okay. where they're taking these drones and they're surveying water out on the lake. Excellent. Yeah. And they do a water sample and process the data later. Cool. So they're able to plan their mission. Good send it out there, do everything, come back. It's got all the fail safes and all that stuff like that. And some of the kids are actually digging into the code and making it do cool stuff. Hey, science, technology, engineering, math. That's what it's all about. It's all about it. Right here. So, good so it's a great thing, comes in a little box put it together. And what does it retail for typically? Um, it, it's anywhere from about 400 and up. Okay. Um, it just Excellent. depends on how you build it. So you know the radios and all that other yeah, stuff yeah, come yeah. into it. Right. Um, you know, GPS, all that stuff's usually like an add-on. So yeah. we sell it really basic to get okay. started so you don't have a huge cost. Okay. And then you can kind of just add little parts onto it here and there. So where can they find out more about these products as well as you guys? Yeah, uh, you're welcome to come check us out on uh, madlabindustries.com or on our Facebook page. Uh, we try to update it as much as we can, but we're obviously out busy having fun with you guys right. and all other yeah. events all over Racing. the country. Exactly. Racing, yeah. yeah, the new okay. frontier. Or, or or clay shooting, right? Clay shooting, yeah. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> well, good deal. This is uh, Don and Todd from the Maker Fair Atlanta Drone Racing Challenge 2015. Thank you.